everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a half an hour video as you can probably tell. I will be testing out two lip products again and let you know how it goes. I am planning on doing lip swatches on both of these lines and me wanting to do this video. Not necessarily to compare the formula to each other but mostly just to be able to show you how they last throughout the day. So on my right I'm going to apply the Ellie Splash. Uh, this is the Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick in the color Ghoulish which I know is a shade that is really really popular and I really enjoy it. You can see it's a beautiful color, so I'm going to apply it on my right side. And on my left side, I'm going to use the Ellie Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the color Timeless, which is a beautiful, like, pinky mauve color. The colors don't match, but it's fine, right? Just, I'm not trying to find dupes here, so I'm going to apply it on my left side. This is what it looks like from up close. I'm also going to swatch them on my arms so we can test out how they uh, survive uh, through hand washing and with baby wipes, like dry baby wipes, wet baby wipes. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the Ellie Girl one, which the Ellie Girl one, the formula, they don't smell like anything. Like, there's a faint scent of like paint or something, but it's really, really not a strong one. And the formula is a little bit more liquidy, almost like an oily finish, somewhat like... Uh, Lime Crime uh, Velveteens, you know how they are like really liquidy, but they do last a really long time So I'm hoping it's gonna be a similar formula for this one and as you can see as it dries out It does become a little bit uh, darker than uh, when it's swatched The Ellie Splash one is a little bit thicker, a little less oily, but it's not moussey like the uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream for example So as you can see it is really opaque like this one if I'm not careful I could not apply it uh, fully opaque in one swipe but it's not that big of a deal on the lips like you really cannot see it the side that looks the most dry and feels the most dry is probably the Ellie Splash one not by much it's not uncomfortable it's not horrible but I do feel it on my lips so I will update you throughout the day to let you know how it goes I will wait for this one to uh, dry so I can test out how it works with dry baby wipes and wet ones and I will do the uh, kiss my hand test to see if there's any transfer. I will drink, I will eat, and I will update you throughout the day. So it's been just under four hours that I've been wearing the two lipstick. I haven't had a proper meal yet, but I've been talking and drinking. And as you can see, it still looks exactly the same. There's like no fitting whatsoever. I wanted to update you on these on my hand. So I forgot to leave a uh, dry baby wipe, but I'll use this one. <laughs> so let's do this. So not really surprising, they didn't move. There's maybe a tiny little bit of like, uh, try really really hard, there's a little bit of color transfer on the pink side of the Ellie Girl one. The color is still overall still there. I'm gonna also test and try to kiss my hand to see the transfer. So no transfer whatsoever, I'm not surprised because I didn't see anything on my glass of water, which I would have known. So no transfer, didn't bleed, didn't move whatsoever, again, the most dry side would have to be the Ellie Girl one. Not enough that I need to like apply like a lip balm ASAP or anything. It's just that you feel you have something on your lips. Actually on both sides I can feel that I have something but it doesn't feel like horrible. Like I don't want to wipe it off. And I really appreciate that it doesn't transfer. It doesn't smell like anything once it's on my lips. So, so far they both last really, really well. I will try to update you after I eat and I'll try to keep them on my lips as long as possible because I know both of them are really long lasting and I wanna see if one of them is a little bit more than the other. I know that when you try to wipe off the LA Splash the product, you just can't. Like, you <laughs> the other day I did arm swatches and seriously, I had to use every oil and balm and everything I own for like three days at least for it to be completely removed. So I'm not expecting this one to move whatsoever, but we'll see, maybe a little bit of food might make it move, but I don't think so. I wanted to update you one last time, so it's been around 9 hours now, and I'm about to take it off because it's just late. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom you in, and you can see that the lipsticks, they didn't even move around whatsoever, like barely maybe a little bit on the side, but it could just be that... I didn't apply a lot there. Overall, my lips do feel dry, but it's not like so uncomfortable that I really need to take it off. But if you have dry lips to begin with, which was my case actually this morning, I would say that it's probably a little bit on the drying side. But I wanted to attempt to remove them on camera. So I have a moist baby wipe and I want to see if I needed to use makeup remover or not. So we're gonna try first without. 
can feel the tugging. But a lot of the color is going away. It's not hurting. But you would need to use some makeup remover. I'm gonna try the other side. <laughs> it's just barely moving. So there is a little bit of transfer, but you would need makeup remover in both cases. So as you can see, with makeup remover, you can take off the LA Girl. Now we're gonna try the LA Splash. Ooh, I was expected and scared that it wouldn't move because <laughs> on your arm it won't. Well, I'm actually relieved. In both cases, you can remove them with makeup remover, which is a relief. I will. I was a little bit scared of the LA Splash wouldn't move. <laughs> so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video.